Hi! Today we're going to talk about binary search trees. As you may know, there are a node-based binary data structure in which the left subtree of the node contains keys that are less than the root and the right subtree of the node contains keys that are greater than the root. I know it might seem a bit confusing right now, but let's try to take an example and see how we can actually insert nodes in a binary search tree. Let's try to insert the following numbers. 12, 7, 9, 20, 4, and 11. Since we have 12 as the first number, we insert that as root. That will be our root. Then we'll look at 7. We need to insert 7. 12 is bigger than 7, therefore we put 7 in the left subtree. When we look at 9, 9 is smaller than 12 but is bigger than 7, which means that we will add 9 on the right subtree of 7. We look at 20. 20 is bigger than 12, therefore we put 20 in the right subtree of 12. 4. 4 is smaller than 12. 4 is smaller than 7, which means that it will go on the left subtree of this tree. The last element we need to add is 11. 11 is smaller than 12 but 11 is also bigger than 7, which means it will go on the right subtree. 11 is also bigger than 9, which will go in the right subtree of 9. All right, but now what if we want to insert, let's say, 32? You get the idea. 12 is smaller than 32, which means we need to look on the right subtree. 32 is bigger than 20, which means that we need to add it to the right subtree. All right, so now you get the idea, but what are some practical uses of binary search trees and why do we really need to understand how they work? Well, they are used to implement multi-level indexing in databases. They are also used in many search applications where data is constantly entering or leaving the map or the set objects or the Huffman coding tree used for compression algorithms such as those used for JPEG or MP3 file formats. All right, so this was it for today. Thank you for watching. Please let me know down in the comments which tutorial you would like to see next and I will see you in the next one.